With inflation, interest and other economic jargon I don't really understand on the rise, people are looking for ways to save on their energy bills, with a popular option being solar panels. So I thought, you know what, let's join the fun. And so I scavenged the internet to find the most reliable source to buy my solar panels, and ended up on Wish. For those that are unaware, Wish is like Amazon, but cheaper, poorer quality, and takes a month or so for delivery. Not surprisingly, there were a ton of really cool solar panel things that I could buy. Many of their solar panels came with complicated controller box things I didn't really want to deal with, but I did find a few that had built-in USB ports, which I found really convenient. I mean that I could just plug in a device like a phone or smartwatch. The one I went for said it had an output of about 80 watts, but knowing Wish that's about 10 times exaggerated, especially from a monocrystalline panel the size of a pillow. Okay, so here it is. It's smaller and definitely much thinner than I expected it to be. There is a mounting hole on each corner, and on the back you can see the USB ports. The wire coming out is for some other attachments, but we won't be using that. The first thing I did was find a place to mount the panel. I then scratched my head to figure out how to attach this thing to the railings and impulsively thought, you know what, hot glue gun, zip ties. So I started off by applying the glue sparingly, but then I kind of got carried away. The panel actually then got really hot and so I needed to cool it down with my fan technique. <laughs> so, okay, so with like a lot of solar panels, there needs to be a power storage system. So I went for the high tech solution of a power bank. I got this char mask car mass, not sure how to pronounce it, power bank, uh, it's about, it's a nearly 24,000 milliamp power battery. I'll put the link in the description, I got it from Amazon. It's large enough to fully charge multiple devices, yet still compact enough to be portable. And it's also really affordable at less than $30 or 30 pounds. It has two inputs, either by micro USB or USB type C. The USB type C port is also a fast charging output. It also has three USB outputs, with one of them being fast charging. What I really like about it though is its digital display, which lets me get an accurate idea of how much it's charged. Unfortunately, the power bank can't charge a device whilst it's being charged itself. Please excuse my art skills, but this is the best way I can explain it. So this is a solar panel connected to the power bank, which is then connected to my phone, for example. Basically, if the power bank is being charged, then it won't charge a device. For it to charge a device, it can't be receiving an input, i.e. from the solar panel which means that every time I want to use the power bank, I would have to remove the cable from the solar panel, which isn't ideal. That's why I bought this little USB adapter that actually adds a switch to the charging cable going from the solar panel to the power bank. This means that I can keep all the cables where they are, and when I want to use the power bank, I just turn off the switch to disconnect it from the solar panel, and then I can charge my device without actually having to remove the power bank or the cables. Now it's just about kneading it up with, unsurprisingly, some more zip ties. I didn't want to zip tie the power bank down as I still wanted it to be portable, so I thought I'd try to make a stand. The idea was to create a groove in this piece of wood that would hold it in place. Unfortunately though, due to my impatience and limited carpentry skills, I ended up splitting the wood off camera, throwing it over the balcony, and so I scrapped that idea pretty quickly. I did my first charge up test in about 30 degrees heat on a clear day in the middle of the afternoon so this should be peak brightness and the power bank was at 21%. By the time the sun had set, the power bank had been charging for 8 hours or so, it had reached 38% which is a 17% increase from you know a near 24,000 milliamp power battery which is roughly enough to charge a large phone. Unfortunately, however, this wasn't enough for my unrealistic goals and I felt that I was wasting all of the morning sun by permanently fixing it on the side of the house which only sees the afternoon sun. And so I wanted to be able to move it around to different sides of the house. So I dismantled it all and the whole thing ended up just being kind of a big waste of time. Probably much like this video. Sorry. <laughs> 